Today we are going to see the life cycle of ameloblast. Before seeing the life cycle of ameloblast, we should know the developmental stages of the tooth, which makes the understanding much more easier. And the terms that we use in this video is already explained in that video. If you have a blurred memory of developmental stages of tooth, just brush up with the video that we have made already. Just check the description for the link of that video. The cells of the inner enamel epithelium which differentiate into ameloblasts to form enamel undergo changes in their shape and structure. Let us see them in the following six stages. Morphogenic stage. In this stage, the cells of the inner enamel epithelium interact with the adjacent mesenchymal cells of the dental papilla and determines the shape of the DEJ and hence the morphology of the crown of the tooth. The cells are low columnar with a large centrally located nucleus and the Golgi apparatus and centrioles are seen in the proximal or basal end of the cell. The mitochondria and other cytoplasmic organelles are seen scattered throughout the cell. The basal lamina is present between the cells of inner enamel epithelium and the underlying dental papilla. Towards the dental papilla, a narrow cell-free zone is seen containing fine fibers and cytoplasmic processes of the superficial cells of the dental papilla which is followed by the organizing stage where the cells of the inner enamel epithelium interact with the adjacent superficial cells of the dental papilla which differentiate into odontoblast. In this stage, the inner enamel epithelial cells elongate on the distal side and their nuclei shift proximally and the Golgi complex and centrioles migrate to the distal end. This means the elongation of the cell is towards downwards and the nucleus move upwards to the cell and the Golgi apparatus and the centrioles move downwards. This is known as reversal of polarity. Most of the mitochondrial clusters in the proximal part of the cell. The inner enamel epithelial cell becomes a polarized cell and it can no longer divide. Because of the elongation of the inner enamel epithelial cells on the distal side, the cell-free zone between the inner enamel epithelium and the dental papilla disappears and the epithelial cells come in contact with the outermost connective tissue cells of dental papilla which differentiated into odontoblast. During the later part of the organizing stage, formation of the dentin by the newly differentiated odontoblast begins. And this is the critical phase in the life cycle of the inner enamel epithelium. The inner enamel epithelial cells which were receiving their nutrition from the blood vessels of the dental papilla so far are deprived of it. They start depending on the capillaries of the dental sac surrounding the outer enamel epithelium for their nutrition as mentioned earlier in the video of developmental stages of tooth in the bell stage. For clear explanation, just check the link of the video in the description. Organizing stage is followed by the formative stage or secretive stage where the differentiated inner enamel epithelial cells that is, the ameloblast begins the formation of the enamel matrix after the first layer of dentin is formed. The presence of dentin is necessary for the beginning of enamel matrix formation. This is similar to the necessity of the inner enamel epithelial cells coming in contact with the connective tissue cells of dental papilla for the differentiation of the odontoblast and the beginning of dentin formation. This reciprocal interaction and induction is explained already in the developmental stages of the tooth in the advanced bell stage. The link is in the description. In the formative stage, the ameloblast retain the same length but there are changes in the organization and the number of cytoplasmic organelles which reflect 
their intense synthetic and sensory activity a second junctional complex develops in the proximal towards the stratum intermedium and in distal towards the dentin at the distal side of the ameloblast compartmentalizing the ameloblast into the body and the distal extension called tomes process against which the enamel forms which is explained in the last these junctional complexes serve to align adjacent ameloblast and plays an important role in amelogenesis by tightly holding the ameloblast together and controlling the passage of substances between the ameloblast and the enamel after the formation of most of the enamel matrix ameloblast undergo morphological changes to prepare for their next function the maturity of the enamel in this stage the ameloblast become shorter and are attached to the enamel matrix the maturative stage occurs in two sub stages transition and modulation where the transition stage is before the maturation stage but after the formative stage where the shortened ameloblast completely stops secretion about 25% of the ameloblast undergo apoptosis that is the programmed cell death and the process of removal of enamel proteins begins the modulation stage in this stage the ameloblast removes the organic material from the enamel and add more inorganic material the ameloblast cyclically alternate between having a ruffled end or a smooth end the ruffled end ameloblast allows the incorporation of inorganic material while the smooth end of ameloblast allows the exit of protein that is organic material and water which is followed by the protective stage where after the enamel has completely calcified the ameloblast lose their columnar shape and becomes cuboidal they become indistinguishable from the cells of the outer enamel epithelium these cell layers from the epithelial covering of the enamel call reduced enamel epithelium the reduced enamel epithelium protects the surface of the matured enamel from the connective tissue of the follicle till the eruption of the tooth what happens if this layer is lost there may be resorption of enamel or a layer of cementum covering the enamel may occur if connective tissue comes in contact with enamel just before eruption when the enamel organ retracts from the cervical portion of the crown the adjacent connective tissue cells come in contact with the enamel and deposits a fibrillar cementum finally the desmolytic stage where the reduced enamel epithelium produces enzymes to destroy the overlying connective tissue by desmolysis this brings about the fusion of reduced enamel epithelium with the oral epithelium and provides an epithelium lined pathway for the tooth to erupt into the oral cavity without bleeding if reduced enamel epithelium is destroyed permanently the eruption of tooth is prevented tomes process which is nothing but a small pyramidal cytoplasmic extension at the distal end of each ameloblast that is partly delineated from the rest of the cells by the distal junctional complex it consists of secretory granules microfilaments microtubules lysosomes and mitochondria the enamel secretion occurs at two sides of the tomes process the proximal end of the tomes process contributes to the formation of interrod enamel and its distal end contributes to the formation of the rods when the first layer of enamel is laid the tomes process consists only of the proximal portion and the initial enamel is rodless as the first layer of enamel forms the ameloblast move away from the surface of the dentin this leads to the development of the distal portion of tomes process 
the extension from the distal terminal bar to the surface enamel is the proximal portion of the tomes process while the distal portion is an outgrowth of the proximal portion the distal portion of tomes process penetrates into the enamel formed so far and extends up to the first layer of enamel a roughly hexagonal ameloblast forming a keyhole shaped enamel rod can be explained by the fact that the bulk of the head of the enamel rod is formed by one ameloblast and the tail of the rod is formed by three other ameloblasts thus it could be understood that each enamel rod is formed by four ameloblasts and each ameloblast contributes to four different enamel rods thank you all for watching this video if you want me to discuss any other topic please leave it in the comment box and please do like share and subscribe for more videos